Hello to my Draw.io friends. It's Emily here, and today we're gonna to talk about how to create a user flow diagram in Confluence with Draw.io. User flow diagrams are crucial to mastering user experience. They show the process that users go through when interacting with your app or website and allow you to keep track of the needs and desires of the user. There are four important stages to consider when beginning the creation of your user flow diagram. Let's take a look at them. One, identify target users and understand them. Two, define the user's objectives and create end goals. Three, transform goals into task flows. And four, create a user flow diagram. For this video, we're gonna pretend that we own an online grocery shopping website and our user flow diagram will be based on that. Let's hop into our page in Confluence where we're going to open our favorite diagram making program, Draw.io. Today I'm using Confluence Cloud, but you can create this same diagram in Confluence Data Center. We'll name our diagram User Flow Diagram and start with a blank canvas. Now before we get started, I'm going to customize the format of our future shapes and connectors from sharp to rounded, as I like them better this way, as well as deselecting page view so our canvas is endless. So the goal of all user flow diagrams is to take the user from start to finish. So in our case, from Google to checking out at the online register. This is where our user flow diagram begins. After our user reaches Google, they will see a link to our website where they're going to be doing their grocery shopping. They click the link, which will represent with an action shape and be taken to the homepage of our website, which will represent with a display shape. Next, we want to know, is the user logged in? We represent this with a decision shape. We branch from here with the yes and no options, where we then decide what experiences we want the user to meet. Let's go down the no path first to the right, and then we can come back to the yes branch in a minute. Now here's a quick tip I'd like to share with you guys. Draw.io has a tool called Scratchpad that allows you to copy and store any part of your diagram for later use. So in this case, I know that I will be using these three shapes multiple times in this diagram. So I'm going to copy these shapes that I have Then I'll get rid of the text and drag them to the scratch pad. From now on, I'll be pulling my shapes from the scratch pad so I don't need to color them individually anymore. If you wanna learn more about the scratch pad, we have a great video on our channel for it. I'll link it in the description below or you can click the card in the top right of this video. Now that we've got a good start on our diagram and our shapes are in the scratch pad, I'm gonna skip us towards the end of the diagram for time's sake. What you now see is our completed user flow diagram. After we ask the question, is the user logged in? We added a few steps that would come after, like are they an existing member, create an account, sign in, and then finally starting their shopping by selecting a nearby store. The user is then taken to their chosen stores page where they can either select an item from the left toolbar or just click add on the items on the home page. Next, is our user done shopping? No, then okay, they can go back and add more items. If yes, then they'll wanna to go to checkout. After reviewing the items in their cart and adding their information, they'll place their order, therefore ending their experience on our website and ending our user flow diagram. And there we go. Now we've got this beautiful user flow diagram that we can use and add to forever. Best of all, since the diagram lives in Confluence, it's easy to share with the rest of your team. You can even export it to paste it into a Jira issue for your development team. Today we learned how the user flow diagram is crucial to the user experience and how to efficiently map out and resolve users' goals and needs. I really hope you guys found this video informative and helpful. And don't forget, we're posting weekly with the newest how-tos, tips, and tricks that you need to thrive in your diagram-making journey through Draw.io.